that's the legendary FNC one. It's a hell of a boat. They gave our FNC one a complete makeover and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the, uh, the region's biggest kept secrets, I guess until now. Go Stephen, go! Oh yeah, that's the way we do it. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Coleman, the outdoor company, Cooper Tires, Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters, and Garmin. To say that Pete and I are technique freaks or perfectionists of our fishing craft would be a tremendous understatement. We thrive on the intricacies of all things gear oriented. Parabolic curves of rods, drag systems and reels, shapes and material makeup of weights, sharpening angles of hooks, and the list goes on. In fact, the list spills out well beyond just fishing gear. Our tow vehicle, for instance. Things like self-leveling air suspension is a must for any serious boater. All the latest features and options means we can get to the launch with boat and tow safely on every trip. And finally, we can't forget our boat, the vehicle which we call our office. If you recall, a couple of seasons ago, we started the transformation of our Princecraft Expedition 200, turning it into a fully customized, handcrafted beast we now refer to as FNC-1. We're pretty sure this proves just how serious we are about our fishing. Bottom line is, by being technique freaks, it allows us to better our fishing craft and enables us to convey our newfound knowledge to you, the Fishing Canada audience. This is too much fun for one person to have, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, what does this have to do with today's show? There's a new sheriff in Princeville, and we're gonna finally get a chance to meet him. He's Steve Langley, the new president of Princecraft Boats. During his transition to Princecraft, he had heard through the grapevine about our customized rig. He said, guys, this is something I have to see. And by the way, can we do some fishing too? Our kind of guy. One of the things we can't wait to show Steve is the rubber checker plate flooring. That's right, I said rubber. It's extremely comfortable to walk on, totally skid resistant, and to our knowledge, never been offered by any boat manufacturer. Not only is it functional, but let's be honest, it looks pretty awesome, you gotta admit. Since I've been a muscle car lover and a speed freak my entire life, FNC1 wasn't gonna be a slug on the water, trust me. With all the modifications we made, we inadvertently added extra weight. So a massive weight loss program came into play. Without sacrificing any structural integrity, we trimmed the fat, so to speak. And when pushed by a big Merc Verado Pro 250, she came out as a fire-breathing monster. This cockpit is command central. Outfitted with all the latest Merc smart gauges and a slick console-mounted shifter, it's the heart of FNC-1. The last thing we want to show the guys is the electronics, as well as give them a few tips on how we use them. We run three Garmin touchscreen units, all networked together to give us the absolute best fish finding technology. Do a little cast off to the, out, the, out a bit, up this way. Off here? Yep, just a 10 foot cast out that way. Oh, he's on, he's on. Yes! Nice, nice. got him! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> right where you said he was on that screen. How sweet is that? Oh. Eh? See him on the screen, you throw to him, and he bites. Oh. That's the way it's supposed to be. Why can't fish be like that every day? That's electronics at its best right Yeah, that's, that's electronics at its best. Oh thing. my God. These supercomputers, as we call them, show us detailed one foot contours with Lakeview maps. They have the ability to scan with side view and clear view and show us real time imagery with the amazing pan optics. There's fish way out there. Let's hope the Princecraft team is as impressed with our machine as we are. We're gonna give it the ultimate makeover before we head to Quebec and it is absolutely gorgeous. Before we meet with Steve and JP, we've got a couple of more finishing touches. The first is to install a couple of side pods to give FNC1 better splash protection and an even nastier look. And 
finally, we're going to give it the ultimate makeover to clean her up before we head to Quebec. We decided to take our rig to one of the top design graphic companies in the business, Ink Your Ride in Barrie, Ontario. They eagerly took on the task of taking FNC1 and giving it a facelift. Ange and I felt that subtle would be nice, but it still had to have a mean feel to it. When you let true artists like these graphic experts loose on a project like FNC1, the sky is the limit. All we had to say was, have at her, boys. Joining us now is Mark Dory. He is with Ink Your Ride in Barrie, Ontario, and they gave our FNC1 a complete makeover, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The personalization of vehicles, uh, including boats, personal watercraft, all that is really opening up now. People are realizing the uh, the films available, the, the colors, the finishes. It's kind of a really exciting time in our industry because there's innovations happening every day with the materials and it is a great way to kind of stand out on the water with your, with your boat. Just on the FNC1, uh, we had the black brush steel and uh, it just, uh, it turned out fantastic. Since Princecraft is based out of Quebec, a perfect meeting place would be the Canuck Nature Reserve, situated just north of the municipality of Montebello. Canuck is located in the Outaouais region of Quebec, a 33,000 square kilometer area which is made up of 80% forest, more than 20,000 lakes, numerous rivers and two reservoirs. Located close to Ottawa and Montreal, Outaouais region is unique with its proximity between city and nature, making it easily accessible. As for Canuck, this place is like no other. We call it Canuck. It's an abbreviation of a native word for turtle. So we like the, the uh, symbolism of the turtle. It's something that it combines water and land. It's long lasting, it's friendly. And then we added on uh, the nature. Just because of our affiliation with uh, the Nature Conservancy of Canada and our commitment to, in, to really conserving the natural habitat here on the property for the next hundred years. It's one of the, uh, the region's biggest kept secrets, I guess until now. And uh, whether you're looking to come up for the day or rent a cottage for friends or family, or there's big cabins that can even accommodate for a family reunion. There's lots of room, lots of different sizes, and lots of different lakes for you to come and fish. The interesting part of uh, the property, we have so many lakes. There are over 60 lakes on the property. Because of the geology, we're right on the edge of the Canadian Shield. There's a lot of variation in the terrain, which means a lot of variation in the lakes. So we have a lot of variety of fishing. Everything from rainbow trout to speckled trout to lake trout. And then also we have warm water species such as bass and pike. So there's a variety of fish that people can come up here and catch. This is a brand new facility. We've just uh, finished construction. We have a trout hatchery here. It was built in 1930, it was remodeled in the 1980s, and we've just finished a complete remodeling again. So we basically gutted whole parts of the farm and have just built this big dome with uh, all these concrete raceways so that we can produce uh, better fish, uh, faster growing, and uh, these fish are used for both stocking the lakes here on the property and for sales to outside fishing associations, private lakes. The fishing here is fantastic. The average lake trout is two to four pounds with of course some larger fish. Pike over 40 inches are very common, as well as large and smallmouth bass over five and six pounds. Wow, finally that's the legendary FNC1 boat. And I'm really impressed with what they've done. It's a hell of a boat. With our stunning makeover complete, it's time to head to Canuck and let Steve, as well as JP from Princecraft, give it the once over. With this being Steve's first encounter with our boat, we have no idea what to expect. That said, if they're nice to us, then maybe we'll take them out fishing on one of the many lakes that Canuck has to offer. Our home base for this trip is the Papineau Chalet on Papineau Lake. Unlike most lakes in Canuck, this lake has no boat and motor restrictions, making it the perfect display room for FNC1. With the marina situated just down the shoreline from our chalet, we have the perfect spot to showcase FNC1 and all of her modifications. Good. My reaction when I was invited by Angelou and Pete was just excited, excitement, you know. 
uh, I like to fish. I'm fishing with my kids and my friends and uh, it, for me it's a great opportunity to come here and spend a few days with you guys and uh, discover the boat that I heard about for many years. So uh, I'm very glad to be here. This show is something special because it's, it's a long time relationship. It's totally different. Uh, I've learned more. Typically we just go out and we fish and it, it's good. Don't, don't get me wrong, but this is something better. I'm getting more experience, more fact, and I'll, I'll leave with something, with some luggage and I'll, I'll be better as a fisherman in the future. Wow. Finally, that's the legendary FNC One boat. The boat layout was uh, significantly changed. And I'm really impressed with what they've done. Rising the floor by having more storage inside. They have put storage about everywhere, which is uh, a feature that uh, every fisherman will be looking for, uh, I'm convinced. It's going to be very interesting to fish around the center console fishing boat. It's going to be the first time for me in such a layout, so uh, I, I'm looking forward to try that. Center console, I was not convinced at the beginning, but now I'm looking at it, it's really convenient to, to walk around the boats and everything with the nets and rods and everything. So really impressed me what they've done. It's really a, a West Coast custom type of boat, which is, in my mind, a good thing. They have like three sonar in dash, they have one in front. I want them to learn me how to use this tool and really understand how our customer really work with that because there's many things that those things do. I maybe use 10% of it, but I know those guys use 80, 90% of what they can do with that. So that's really what I, I focus on and want to learn more about. I really like what they've done with the boat. They started with the great hull, a great hardcore fisherman's boat, and they made it their own. They modified to make it a central console and added storage here and there and some specific improvements. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm really convinced that we've done the good thing with the production boat. This one is really a, a niche. It's something for them, but the one that we've developed is based on this one. So having the airflow system built in with the ventilation optional system that we have, plus the in-dash sonar, plus a trolling motor plug for 36 volts. There's plenty of other ideas coming out of that boat. But this one is really something that impressed me because it's a, it's a, a hell of a boat, right? So it's really something that you're never going to see anywhere. That's the way we do it. Today's great fishing destination took place at Canuck Nature in the Outway region of Quebec. To get there, we first drove east on Highway 401 to Highway 416 North. We next turned east on Highway 17 and then kept traveling east on Highway 174 to the ferry in Cumberland. Once across the Ottawa River, we took 148 east then north on 323, east on Côte Isilda, north on Côte Angel, and finally follow the signs to Canuck Nature's entrance gate. Now, Angie and I know that although JP and Steve came along to visit us and our big rig, we also know that both of them are fishing nuts. Unfortunately, the immediate weather forecast was nothing short of brutal. When we snuck out of our calm protected bay to take a look, it was big wind, rain and the possibility of sleet and snow. Add to that, the fact that our intended fishing area was about five miles through this nasty stuff in the big water of Papineau Lake. We decided not to put Steve and JP through that misery. Trust me, there are a ton of better options on the Canuck property. Plan B is to find a small protected body of water and Jamie's got the perfect one in mind. So Angie and Pete right now are out on Otter Lake. It's one of my favorite lakes up here at Canuck. It's loaded with rainbow trout, and there's also some pretty big bass hiding in around the timber. As with the majority of the lakes on Canucks property, Otter is a no gas motors allowed lake. To be honest, I was relieved at the no gas motor rule when I first saw it. FNC1 would be a bit much here. Remember my need for speed? Not gonna happen on this puddle. You see, typically when I go in a new body of water, I'm reaching to those guys. Uh, have you been there before? We look at maps, we talk about the moon, the colors, the lures to use. But basically what I hope is after a trip like that is to learn and then maybe one day I'll just stop calling them because I'll have more experience and I'll be better as a fisherman myself. Since it's October and we're limited to transom mounted electric motors on small Canuck boats, trolling is our best bet. 
Although you may think that spinning gear while using light line is the only way to troll for trout, believe it or not, trolling flies on fly fishing gear is also an extremely effective way to cover water, especially for suspended trout. Small spoons and spinners are the obvious choice for spinning gear. What, what type of lure did, did you install? A little spoon called an EGB. It's a trout okay. spoon. While either leech or minnow patterns on sinking flies work best with fly gear. There he is. Okay. There he is. There he is. Can you, uh, with one hand, that a boy. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. <laughs> That's the way we do it. Okay, where's my friend? There it is. Good job, buddy. Good job. God, they're beautiful little fish, huh? Yeah, they are. Woo. Wow. <laughs> nice job. Not pretty. Yeah, and that's yeah. good eating right there. Perfect size to eat. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get a few more. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> go, Stephen, go. How you making out, JP? Oh, that's nice. How you doing, JP? <laughs> nice. Bring him home, buddy. Nice job. <laughs> nice stuff. Nice fish. Put him home, buddy. Let him go home. Yeah. I think that's two nothing, JP. I'm not counting, but. <laughs> That's it. Good job. Wait, oh, wait, wait, it's wait. a gorgeous fish. And it's not that I don't want to touch the fish, it's just because I'm freezing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kind of fish. Nice fish though, right? Beauty fish. Look at the colors. Bye-bye. This is a scrapper. Oh yeah, it's fat, nice it's fat. That's a lot bigger. Oh, gotcha. Oh yeah, it's bigger, it's bigger. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Atta boy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Uh-oh. We're in trouble now. JP's on to him now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Since 1954, Princecraft is building unparalleled experience for fishermen. That's, that's really the mission that we have since we are building boats. We're designing, engineering and manufacturing the best fishing boat, pontoons and deck boats in Canada and in North America. One thing that it's cool with this experience is we're learning, right? And we don't know everything, so by those experiences we want to make sure we'll, we'll increase our our functionality, make sure the boats we develop will be built for our fishermen based on those experiences. This is really good for us to learn and build better product out there. And just look at us in the coming years and you'll see that it's going to continue to grow and will continue to impress you. Overall, I think this was a great meeting with the Prince Craft guys. They gave us some love, some likes and some not so sure on our custom rig. The flooring has been uh, significantly changed. I, I don't know uh, well, why did you decide to go with that type of flooring? And as for the fishing, I'll bet the guys caught well over 20 rainbows on a half a day, plus a couple of bonus largemouth to boot. Cheers to great relationships and fantastic friends. Today's hotspot is Otter Lake in Quebec's Canuck Nature Reserve. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. Since this is a small, bowl-shaped lake with very little bottom structure, we suggest trolling for best results. Covering water is the key to success here. The Princecraft guys did great trolling flies, while we did equally well using small spoons. Vary your trolling speeds for better success. For a break in the rainbow action, you can do as Steve did and target largemouth bass as well. We highly recommend bringing a portable GPS sonar combo. Once you locate a group of fish, waypoint and stay with them until the action stops. Then simply look for another school and repeat the process. Otter is an electric motor only lake. Contact Canuck and they can provide you with a small boat and trolling motor. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. The 
Fishing Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Closed captioning for this episode is brought to you by FishingCanada.com, the gateway to your next fishing adventure.